Okay, so welcome. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to our live sharing session today with ACC Global Indonesia. And today I'm Yunela um, here with Desmond Wong from Australian Catholic University. Um, we will talk more about um, this uh, university we call ACU in short. So we will refer Australian Catholic University as ACU uh, during this uh, talk. Uh, there will be a lot of uh, plenty of information that will benefit you today. Um, but before we start our conversation, um, let's just watch a video about the ACU. Okay, that was a beautiful campus you have there, Desmond. Mm -hmm. Yep, thank you. Yes, um, um, so, sorry, yes. continue. <laughs> That's fine. So yeah, friends, we have Desmond Wong here, um, a general manager of Australian Catholic University. Um, I think you're now in Melbourne, Desmond. How is the uh, pandemic treating you? So far? Yes, yes. So, um, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this session. Yes, I am Melbourne based. So, um, well, the situation in Australia at the moment is looking really positive. Um, everything here in Australia has pretty much returned um, to normal. Um, and also we have started, the Australian government has started um, rolling out the vaccination program. So mm -hmm. pretty soon, um, everyone in Australia will be vaccinated as well. That's great. Um, mm. So uh, to our audience here, our friends, if you have any questions along our conversation, please uh, just feel free to type uh, your questions in the comment box so we will be able to answer your questions later on. Um, so perhaps before, just to start with Desmond, do you want to just introduce uh, ACU for uh, to our audience today? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, definitely. So I guess for anyone out there who hasn't come across ACU or the Australian Catholic University before, so um, ACU, we are one of the uh, government uh, funded universities here in Australia. So we are one of the public universities in Australia. Um, and also, even though we're called a Catholic university, the, the difference with ACU, I guess, compared to, I guess, what you would normally perceive of a Catholic university, say, in Indonesia is that we are open for all students. So we're open for students from all faiths, um, all beliefs and all backgrounds. And, you know, we are a public university. So um, ACU actually has a very long history uh, in terms of being an education institute. So um, the origins of ACU actually goes back about 150 years to about 160 years. Um, so ACU, well, the reason we're called a Catholic church, uh, university is because ACU was started by the Catholic Church here uh, in Australia. Um, so these, they established these uh, training colleges mainly for teaching and nurses at the beginning, so back in about 1857. Um, and then in 1991, so 30 uh, years ago, um, these training colleges merged to become formally a university. So we formally became ACU um, back in 1991. Um, and then, yeah, and we've been one of the fastest growing universities um, here in Australia since. Um, we have a student population of about 33,000 uh, students 
across our campuses. Um, and then we also have a relatively low percentage of international students, which is very good news. So we only have about 12% international students. So the vast majority of our students are local students. So you mm -hmm. definitely know that if you choose to come and study ACU, um, you know, uh, you'll be able to mix and get to, you know, make friends and make contacts with, you know, local students, which is a very important in terms of your university experience. Um, and also, I guess, very importantly, is that we are a world ranked university as well. Mm -hmm. So ACU, according to the Times Higher Education uh, World University Rankings, we are ranked in the top 300 uh, universities in the world. So that places us in the top 2% of universities okay. in the world. Mm. That's great. Um, you, you mentioned about, because um, you have a long history in teaching and mm. nursing, is it, mm -hmm. uh, is it your actually flagship programs or what do you have to offer actually as an mm -hmm. ACU? Yep. So ACU, we've definitely branched out from, I guess, um, you know, our, our origins, which was, mm -hmm. um, I guess, focusing on, I guess, health sciences like nursing and education. Of course, these are still, I guess, two areas where we perform very strongly simply because we have such a long history and association mm -hmm. yeah. um, with those specializations. But also at ACU, we offer other courses in business, in law, also in IT. Um, so yeah, so we have a wide variety of courses at ACU, all the way from health sciences uh, to education and also to law, IT. Um, yeah, so you know there is a wide variety of programs available uh, for students if you are thinking about coming over to ACU. Mm. So mm. you based in Melbourne, right? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But I know that you have uh, several campuses as well. Is it around yep. Australia or do you have any other in other countries perhaps? Yes. So, yes. So I guess a, a point of difference, I guess, mm -hmm. with ACU compared to your typical um, Australian university is that we are a national university as well. Mm -hmm. So we have campuses uh, spread across all different cities throughout Australia. So we have basically we have one campus in Brisbane which is the mm -hmm. capital city of Queensland. So the third largest city um, in Australia. Uh, we have three campuses in Sydney now. So we have one in North Sydney, one in Strathfield, and um, one in Blacktown, which just started um, this year. So I guess everyone would know Sydney. So Sydney is, of, of course, the, the biggest city here in yeah. Australia. Um, we have a campus in Canberra as well, which is in the Australian Capital Territory. Uh, in Victoria, we've got two campuses, so one in Melbourne. So for myself, I'm based in the Melbourne campus. We also have a smaller campus in Ballarat, which is a regional town in Victoria. Um, and we actually also have a campus in Adelaide as well. Um, however, um, we don't offer any programs for international students at the um, Adelaide campus. So um, yeah, so I guess what's the benefit of having so many different campuses? Well, um, the benefit is that when you come and study at ACU, if you are studying a program, say business, where we offer it in Sydney, in Melbourne and in Brisbane, um, you could transfer campuses if you, you know, so desire to do so. So, you know, if you want to experience living in a different cities in Australia, you can do that. You know, you could perhaps study one year um, in Sydney, one year in Melbourne, one year in Brisbane. Why not? Um, like, you know, for a three year program, for example. Um, so our programs are all based on a national curriculum. So mm -hmm. if you do go for a campus transfer, there's no interruptions to your studies. You basically, you know, pick up your studies from where you left, uh, you know, in your from your original, uh, I guess, ACU campus. Then you just continue yeah. um, in the in 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 the other campus. So so that's a benefit as well. Would, would that be as easy as um, streamline of you know changing from one campus to another? Mm -hmm. um, do you think, I mean, usually it depends on whether the, the courses is available in that campus. Right? Yes. Yeah. So I guess there are a few factors. So if you do mm -hmm. take up the option of, you know, switching campuses, mm -hmm. I guess the first thing is to make sure, I guess, the, the, the campus you're looking at transferring to actually offers the same program. 
um, uh-huh. that you're studying. So that's probably the most important factor. And uh-huh. then I guess the other factors to be considered then would be, I guess, ensuring that, you know, your your academic performance have been sound. So, uh-huh. you know, say, for example, you've done a semester or a year, um, you know, in, in the campus, say, Sydney, and just to make the, the the faculty or the academics normally want to make sure they'll look at your results to see how you've you've been progressing. So um, as long as you've you know you've passed everything, you know you're coping well with your studies. Um, and then the, the the third thing would be um, obviously you know um, there's vacancy for you yeah. uh, to fit you into that program you know in that new campus that you want to go to. So um, these are normally the three things to to consider when you're looking at switching campuses. Um, I know that everybody is forced to do everything at mm-hmm. home. Um, mm-hmm. Is the online courses going in ASU? Whether yes. it's like offshore or offshore? Yeah, so I guess um, we are offering uh, courses online if mm-hmm. students do wish to kind of commence their studies from offshore first, and then once the borders open, then come into Australia. So, um, you know, most of our courses in education and also Mm -hmm. in business and also some of our, I think, our arts-related courses, uh, these courses are available online for students to commence first from offshore. Um, However, I know I'm aware that, um, you know, with the health science-related courses, Mm -hmm. those ones, unfortunately, um, students cannot um, commence from online. Doing all the practice, correct? Yeah, yeah. The, because the thing, I guess, with health science courses is that, you know, even in your first year, there are course like certain classes where you have to be learning in a lab, you know, in a laboratory. So mm-hmm. because you can't actually physically access these facilities, that's yep. why, you know, you can't carry out those studies online. Um so that would be the way to go, um, but uh, but for those I guess students who are already in Australia, I guess for us we for this semester anyway, um, we're still running uh, like a mixed mode uh, uh, mixed mode of learning. So there will be some classes still online, and mm-hmm. some classes where the students will be able to attend um, on campus as well. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, talk about uh, living in the campus. Um, yep. There will be, do you have students' accommodation or, um, mm-hmm. you know, in, in mm-hmm. the complex of the campus or mm-hmm. usually mm-hmm. have it around the campus? Mm-hmm. Yep. So for ACU, um, we have our own student residence. Um, the main one is located in Sydney. Mm-hmm. Um, now, as you might know, as I mentioned, um, I, we, we have three campuses in Sydney. So for our student residence, yeah, it's located kind of, in the middle, I guess, between the the three campuses. So it's located in a a suburb in uh, in Sydney called Camper Downs, which is actually very close to the University of Sydney, which is also, you know, very close, very central to uh, many parts of Sydney. Um, So yeah, so for for that particular student residence, that's where it's located um, in Sydney. Um, in Brisbane and also in Melbourne, we don't have our own student accommodation in those mm-hmm. cities. However, um, we do work with a local company, like an Australian company that specializes in providing student accommodation called Igloo. So they are very well known uh, mm-hmm. for their student uh, accommodation services. Um, so we work with them so that if you do want, you know, um, a student type of accommodation when you're studying in those two cities, um, you can choose to, 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 to stay at Igloo and you can also get um, some better uh, uh, pricing uh, because you're an ACU student because we worked out a special package with them for our students. Um, in terms of the smaller campuses in Canberra and in Ballarat, um, we also, for those campuses, um, we have our own student residence in those uh, cities and towns as well. So basically, it's um, it's more like just houses that we've converted into student residence, and uh-huh. they're basically like right next to the campus. That, that would be very convenient for students. It would be very convenient. Sure. Yeah. Especially if you have a morning class. Oh, yes, right. that's right. Yeah. Roll out of bed and then, you know, uh-huh. <laughs> put your clothes on and then off you go to class. I know. 
All right, yeah. I think we have a accommodation video to show uh, to our audience today. Mm -hmm. uh, let's just watch. I think that's a nice way to show our uh, friends here to understand, I mean, the idea of living a, mm. in a campus accommodation. Because mm. some might uh, ask whether, you know, do I have to live in the dormitory, you know, mm. because of the kind of lot of movies that we watch, <laughs> you know. So, yes. yeah, that would be actually uh, today's, um, you know, the, the, the modern way of, uh, you know, living on campus. You mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. basically have all facilities there. Yep. Uh, ready for you and then that's right the morning class just wake up and then off the bed then mm. you'll be in the class at the end of the morning right mm, mm, um mm. i think we have a question here yep. um perhaps mm -hmm. we can try to accommodate yep. it mm. how to apply a master's by research program research. at mm -hmm. atu and mm -hmm. do you actually help them to find a professor Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So the research programs, um, I guess the approach when you apply for it is, I guess, a little bit different um, compared to applying for like a coursework mm -hmm. program. So actually on our website, we do actually list um, mm -hmm. the profiles of all the potential supervisors at ACU. Um, you know, that will list their details, you know, what sort of research areas they're focusing on or what sort of um, specializations they have. So normally for me, my tip for students who are interested in applying for research is to, to check it out because it's all there, it's all published on the website. Um, have a look because obviously, uh, I guess the main thing when it comes to undertaking research studies is that, um, you know, the, the research that you have in mind, you know, that the research that you want to to take um, actually has a, a, a matching uh, supervisor from that university, you know, that could support you um, in your research. So um, that's that's normally my number one tip. You know, um, check out the website, check out the um, the selection of um, supervisors um, available at ACU. See if there's any of them. Um, that you think could match or, you know, uh, your, your research undertakings. Um, and also on the website, there's also lots of really good information as well, because obviously when you apply, um, mm -hmm. you also need to um, prepare certain documents like a research proposal, for example. Um, and then, you know, it, it has all the guidelines, you know, how to prepare your research proposal and all that. So, so yeah, some really good, um, I guess, um, information really valuable information on the website um, so normally that's how we encourage applications to happen have a look um, and then because even with the uh, supervisors you we they also put up their contact details so you know if you feel 
you know, I want to get in touch with this particular professor and, you know, have a discussion about, you know, maybe what you have in mind or your idea for your research, um, yeah. you could even do that as well. So normally we, we kind of encourage that, that approach, um, you know, so that, um, you know, hopefully then, you know, there's a connection and then, um, and then things can be taken forward. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think uh, approach them with a ready uh, research proposal that would be mm. the first step to do, yeah? Mm. yeah. Um, I think we have a next question, another one about the program. Mm -hmm. Is there any course related to GIS? I think it's a ge geographical information system, if I'm not oh. mistaken, but Turi, if, mm -hmm. if I'm wrong, then perhaps you can type it. What do you mean with the GIS? <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. So related to the inter information system. Mm, information system. So yeah, so I mean, for us, we do have our IT program. So we have both our bachelor's of IT program and also our master's of um, IT program as well. Um, so generally speaking, for our IT courses, um, we focus, I guess, on a few particular um, areas. So particularly, uh, we do have information systems. So that is one available option or specialization of students interested in that. Um, we also focus on other areas such as um, cybersecurity, um, yeah. big data, and also artificial intelligence. So these are kind of the main areas um, that we're focusing on. Um, not specifically GIS, I guess, but if, if it, you know, if you're happy with information system, we definitely offer that in our IT program. Mm. Okay, about, uh, talk about the program. Uh, not mm -hmm. that you are, you know, very strong in the nursing. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, in, in, a, in a circumstances of Indonesian that usually mm -hmm. they, they did the D3 or diploma in nursing yeah. and then looking mm -hmm. into the bachelor degree. Yeah. Uh, how, how is it to apply to AZ? Because uh, I know that the standard might be different and then mm -hmm. uh, it's not, you know, um, not really equivalent to Australian standard as well, what mm -hmm. we do in mm -hmm. India. Mm -hmm. um, do you, do you, what do you usually uh, advise the students that um, looking into a uh, top up to bachelor degree of nursing mm -hmm. in AZ? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so look, um, I guess, um, you know, if, if you have already nursing qualification, mm -hmm. um, nursing license, and even work experience um, back in Indonesia, and you're interested in, you know, continuing or getting a nursing qualification here in Australia. So at ACU, we offer a Bachelor's of Nursing program. Mm -hmm. So, um, and that's also a program when you finish it, you can actually use it to go and apply for nursing registration here in Australia. So keep yeah. that in mind. So, you know, if that's maybe your target, um, it can allow you to do that. So normally it's a three year program, but so that's the full program is three years. But mm -hmm. if you do have this nursing background, so like I said, you know, you've, you've you've got a diploma qualification in nursing, you've got a nursing license in Indonesia, and um, you have work experience as well. Um, what you can do is even when you apply for this program, our Bachelor's of Nursing program, um, you can be considered for credit as mm -hmm. well. So for our faculty, um, if you are approved credit, we can give maximum up to one year credit. So mm -hmm. if you do get the one year credit, it just means you only need to study two years of our Bachelor's of Nursing program. Um, and then after you finish um, that program, you know, uh, if you want to apply for your nursing registration, then the next step there is you have to get an English proficiency score. So for mm -hmm. example, take IELTS again, get IELTS 7, minimum 7 in each band. So together with the IELTS score and your um, nursing uh, degree from ACU, you can just use that and apply for your Australian nursing registration. Okay, so that that's actually a lot of possibility um, mm. to transfer. Yeah. Correct. Um, correct. Yep. I think we have next questions to answer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Question, please. Yeah, for master degrees, mm -hmm. then internship or replacement. Yep. perhaps embedded in the program? Yes, so pretty much I would say yes. Um, 
So, uh, you know, even though you're studying a master degree program and the duration is normally shorter, you know, normally they're two years, there are certainly still components of like, you know, internship or placements uh, incorporated into the program. Um, now, this does include many of our courses. So even for our business and IT master's degree programs, we offer internship uh, mm -hmm. in these programs. Otherwise, if you are thinking about doing like a, a master's of teaching uh, program, we certainly have placements uh, for that program as well. Uh, because again, it is a program that leads to um, teacher registration. So placements are actually part of the requirements in order for you to, um, you know, uh, obtain a, a, a qualification that will allow you to to apply for teacher registration here in Australia. So it is. Um, and I guess one point of difference with ACU as well is that we do focus a lot on, you know, giving students opportunity to go and do internships or, or to take on placements um, because we feel that's very important as part of your part of your education process. Um, you know, it's not all about the theory, you know, it's important to learn the theory, but to actually apply it uh, in the workplace, that's what we want to get our students used to as well. Hmm. And hmm. it will be really benefit when after graduation, they, 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 they can apply for the graduate visa as well. So yeah. I think they can yeah. use up their experience to find a job. Yeah, correct? yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, uh, for us, um, I guess we've been recognized as being the number one university in Australia uh, when it comes to graduate um, employment outcomes and also number one when it comes to, I guess, um, companies out there recognizing the quality of the, the graduates that comes out from ACU. Um, so for us, you know, it really comes down to about being able to offer our students these opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, and also, you know, if you do well, when you go out for your placements and things like that, for a lot of our students, they do actually, some of them, you know, end up working or finding work uh, or continuing, you know, into like a full-time employment um, yeah. with these companies where they did their um, internships. That's great. Um, mm. I think we have next questions. Yeah. Um, And is specific significant amount of scholarship master research student from ACU? Well, I think you can, we haven't covered this scholarship mm. though. You wanna just mm. uh, tell us what you have to offer about this scholarship in ACU? Yep. So yeah, so scholarships, I guess, um, just to address this question, I guess with uh, research scholarships, it can mm -hmm. work a little bit different. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess we, you know, we do have a few scholarships available for international students, normally if they're going for like a coursework program, and I can definitely talk a bit more about that. But um, if you are looking at doing a, a research program, um, yeah. usually what happens is, you know, if you're able to um, get accepted, so that means, you know, you've identified a, um, a supervisor um, that will, you know, support you and accept you into the research program. Um, sorry, that's my, my daughter, <laughs> the perks of working from home. Sorry about yeah. that. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, so what happens is the supervisors will actually have access to funding, you know, funding, whether it's, it's you know, from government organizations or um, it's from um, private um, organizations. And, you know, these uh, fundings, they can actually then allocate to you as a scholarship. So, um, you know, so I've seen actually quite a few uh, research students um, that has come to ACU that's been accepted into like our PhD program and they've been, they've got allocated 100% um, scholarship for their, for their PhD program, basically. So, so that's what tends to happen um, in terms of scholarships for research programs. Um, but um, if it's for, uh, I guess, normal coursework programs, we've got two main scholarships at the moment. Um, so the first one is if they are looking, if students are looking to study like a business or a mm -hmm. IT program, either at an undergraduate or postgraduate level. Um, if, the, if you're looking at commencing this year, so maybe say the, the July intake, um, yeah. There is an automatic scholarship, so five thousand uh, dollars each year. So that means if you study for a three-year bachelor degree, you can save uh, fifteen thousand mm -hmm. dollars 
Mm -hmm. um, if you're going to do a two-year master's, you can save $10,000. Um, mm -hmm. So that's one of the scholarships that's called the Global Excellence Scholarship for Business and IT Program. The yeah. other one that we have is uh, the International Student Scholarship. So mm -hmm. this one is more of a merit-based scholarship. So it's, it's um, if you have basically what it looks for is um, if you have a GPA of at yeah. least 80% or more than 80%, then you can use that GPA to try and apply for this scholarship. Um, if you're successful, if you're selected, it means um, every semester of your um, studies at um, ACU, sorry, I'll just share my screen here. So that's yeah. the scholarship page. Um, so the one I'm talking about, you see, is the International Student Scholarship. Um, so if you do receive it, it means every semester you get 50% uh, scholarship from ACU. So that's for wow. the duration of your program. So basically it means your, your whole program at ACU, 50% of your yeah. tuition fees uh, will be covered. Um, so it's just loading at the moment. Um, but yeah, but for this one, you do have to apply for it separately. So you have to get an offer letter first from ACU. And then um, depending on which um, intake you're going to commence your studies, then you apply uh, according to that intake. So if you're going to commence in July, you need to apply for this scholarship in April. You just apply online. Or if you're going to commence in, say, February next year, then you will apply in September this year. So, um, so this one will be a bit more competitive. But if you do have that GPA, it's always worth to give it a try. Um, but uh, for the other one, the Global Excellence Scholarship, the automatic one for business and IT program, you don't mm -hmm. have to apply for it. As long as you are accepted, you receive the offer letter from ACU, it's straight yeah. away applied there on your offer letter. Yeah. Um, how mm. about, because um, I know that this pandemic caused uh, students to study online, so not really, mm -hmm. you know, use up all the facilities that you provide. Um, is mm -hmm. there any... Uh, reduce fee on that or perhaps you actually offering them for this global excellence the yeah look the global excellence scholarship um still applies basically mm -hmm. um so i guess it depends on each uh, individual case so i guess for these business or it students the global excellence scholarship still applies uh, yep. even if you decide to commence your studies um, online first. Um, however, um, if if you do say, for example, you end up receiving the, the International Student Scholarship, the 50% scholarship, um, for that one, it does mean that um, when you enroll um, in your unit for the semester, you do have to actually enroll in the four units, which is like a full-time study. Yep. Um, because for, 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 I guess, other... Um, other students, if they're not a scholarship recipient, um, it's up to them. So they could maybe say just enroll in two units first. Uh, but you know, if you are a recipient of like um, the 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 fifty percent scholarship, then you do have to actually enroll uh, like as like a full time student. So four units for the semester. Yeah. Okay. Um, I probably touch uh, on the. You know, because your name is Australian Catholic University, mm -hmm, and you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of course, we, you 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 open to all um, you know yes. background and religions. Um, yes. By saying that, how about because I know the Indonesian is a uh, mm. um, Muslim country as well. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, do mm -hmm. you actually provide them um, facilities for them to yeah. pray or yes. do their Yes. yes. Yeah, yes, definitely. So, um, you know, even though we're called a Catholic university, I guess in a sense, we're just like, you know, any other university um, mm -hmm. in Australia. Um, mm -hmm. So in all of our campuses, we do have uh, prayer rooms. So, you know, if you do need to go and pray, um, mm -hmm. these rooms are available mm -hmm. throughout all of our campuses. So we make sure we cater for students from all faiths and beliefs. Yeah. Um, the way I guess I see it with ACU is that, um, you know, it actually, you know, it, it benefits all students. Um, so, you know, if you are a Catholic, that's great. 
you know, um, we do have small chapels on each campus. So if you want to go to mass, it's there for you, but it's not compulsory. So um, if you are a student of other faiths, other beliefs, you need to go to pray. We have prayer rooms to cater for these students as well. Um, if you are a student of no faith, then well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so it fits everyone. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, how about the community? Uh, is there any Indonesian community or um, any students' activity that they can do during the study? Perhaps we call yeah. it extracurricular. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've got lots of um, uh, student associations, uh, student clubs, or uh, we're also very big into sports, so even sporting clubs. So if students have a passion for a particular sport, we'll probably have a club, a sporting club for that as well. So there are lots of um, opportunities uh, for students to connect, you know, make new friends through these clubs, get involved, um, yeah. get active. And, you know, it, it's something we really encourage students to do um, mm -hmm. because, you know, although, yes, study is the number one priority, but at the same time, you know, you do need to get involved with other things to mm -hmm. kind of take your mind away a little bit, you know, otherwise all like study... Fun. That's right. You know, all study, no play, that's also, that's yeah. not ideal. So it's important to, to have that balance. Um, and um, and like I said, you know, we've got all these different uh, clubs available across all the campuses. You know, we have, we also have like international student clubs um, available as well that students can join and they organize activities, you know, throughout the semesters. Uh -huh. um, you know, so there's always things to get involved with. Um, so, you know, so we encourage, we heavily encourage students to get involved. Yeah, I think to give mm. our friends here um, the, the idea of uh, the activities they can do in ACU, we have mm. a video to watch. Let's mm -hmm. just uh, play it. Um, we have, uh, I think we covered quite a lot today, um, Desmond. We, mm -hmm. we have uh, more questions to answer, I think. Uh, let's mm -hmm. just see. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Any specific advice for a bachelor in public relation graduate right. to progress to which program that could eligible for mm -hmm. post study work visa, I think, yeah, in mm -hmm. ACU? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. Look, I think um, you know. So, if you're coming from a PR background, I guess you know, if you're interested um, to kind of you know study something that's still kind of related, or that could kind of you know complement or add to the qualification mm -hmm. you already have, I guess I would probably recommend a few. Um, we, of course, we have our MBA program. So, if you want to focus a little bit more. I guess, mm -hmm. on the management side that could perhaps, you know, once you have your qualification also help you to climb higher, you know, in your career or, you know, you're looking to climb up the corporate ladder. Um, mm -hmm. We do have our MBA program that's available and that's offered in both our Sydney and Melbourne campus. Um, if you're looking at, you know, perhaps doing something a bit more practical, we also have a Master's of Professional Accounting. So perhaps, you know, you want to add something, you know, another another skill, you know, another uh, skill set, you know, in accounting. Um, 
and our accounting programs are all recognized as well, you know, by mm -hmm. the CAA, by CPA. So, um, yeah, so that's uh, another option as well. Um, otherwise, perhaps you want to upskill your IT knowledge and your IT skills. We have a master's of IT as well, which, of course, would be very handy, you know, in, in this present moment or in the world yeah. today, very relevant. Um, so, yeah, so all these master degree programs are all two years. So yeah. when you study a two year program, you know, you're eligible for a post-study work visa after that. So, yeah, so these would be probably the three that I would I would recommend. Yeah, I think mm. if you if uh, IG is aiming for the post-grad uh, post-study mm. work visa, actually, mm. you can take any as long yeah. as the two years. Yes. Um, and you get another two years, uh, the, the good visa. Yeah. Uh, and I think it depends also on which um, campus that he will be studying. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Yes. Perhaps with the Balara, it will be longer. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, I guess if, if it if were sticking with these three courses that I just mentioned, um, so for MBA and for NPA, so Masters of Professional yeah. Accounting, these two are offered in our Sydney, North Sydney, or our Melbourne campus, so you can choose either one of them. If you're looking at the Masters of IT, then at, at the moment, it's only offered in our North Sydney campus. Mm. Okay. But um, but uh, but I guess, you know, if you are studying these programs, you know, I think it's probably a little bit better to, to study in the bigger cities, because that's where you'll probably end up, you know, finding more job opportunities as well, mm. particularly for these type of specializations. Mm. It depends on the preference, I think, yeah? Mm, 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 mm. Um, okay, hope that answer your questions, Aji. Um, mm. We have more another questions. Mm. Okay, I have a friend in Melbourne. Can he sponsor mm -hmm. me to study at ACU? Mm, okay, interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess... Um, Maybe. Uh, <laughs> can I answer, perhaps? Yes, yes. Um, yes the, an the answer is maybe because it all depends on mm. the um, other authority, not us, I yeah. think. Is that correct? Yes. yes. It's more to the visa application. Um, mm. I think it's Department of Home Affairs. Uh, mm. They will actually check on your eligibility uh, mm. and your, I think I will say that your. Um, the, we call it the genuine temporary yes. entrance. They have yes. a lot of checklists uh, to yes. do. Uh, yes. As long as um, you met that checklist, that will be fine, I think. But if yeah. you um, not taking one, that will be mm -hmm. uh, a bit um, challenging to apply. Mm -hmm. Hope that yeah. answered the questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I think that there was the last question we have, uh, Desmond. Um, mm -hmm. Do you mm -hmm. have? Um, Anything to say to wrap up this session? I believe you've um, shared us a lot of information today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think, um, you know, it's definitely worthwhile finding out more um, about ACU, you know, especially if you're considering about coming over to Australia to study. And there are many reasons for that. Um, for us, um, you know, like I mentioned at the beginning, you know, we have so many choices of campus that you can choose from. Um, we have a wide variety of offerings. Um, we are a very highly ranked university as well. Um, so we have a very solid uh, reputation for the quality of our education and also for the graduates that we produce. Mm -hmm. um, and also, uh, in, more importantly as well, um, our tuition fees are actually very competitive. So yeah. once you do some research, you know, you do some comparisons between our tuition fees and some other universities' tuition fees, I think you would really see the difference. Um, so, so I think, you know, when you choose to study at ACU, um, you really get good value. Uh, you know, for, for the money that you pay for the tuition fee. Um, so, and our courses are practical. So you get to apply your skills and your knowledge. So that yeah. is very important. That's great. Mm. Um, yeah, so friends, if you have uh, any further questions after this um, uh, this live sharing session, please feel free to contact us at ACC Global Indonesia, especially if you wanna try to make application and apply for the scholarship as well. There's a big opportunity for you to get it. 
um, just contact us at EC Global if you have our Instagram or Facebook or you have our WhatsApp number or just as easy as uh, type it, uh, Google our website, accglobal.co.id. So mm-hmm. I think that's all for today. Thank you, Desmond, for your time and all the information you shared today. Um, okay. I believe this will be very uh you know, fruitful um, session. Thank you for sharing all information with us today. And um, I think I'll see you in another session, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Anytime. Love to do it. (laughs) All right. Thank you, Desmond. Uh, Stay safe there. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. See you in another session.